Hey guys, what's up? This is Dr. Ian. Welcome to top 5 flaws of the Beast Master Hunter. At number 5, we have our class order hole. The class order hole for me is really, really boring. Um, it feels like a really big barn with a lot of waste of uh, space. Um, it's just, like you can see, a lot of open space which is not being used creatively. We have some... Um, we have some trophies hanging on the wall. We have a little fire going on in there, a uh, little fireplace. The thing for me is I would rather see different than uh, differently. I would like to have a big um, place. Um, I wanted to divide it in rooms. I would have like a room with all kinds of trophies there, a big table, big round table with uh, beers on top of that and all that kind of stuff. Then one armory room. I would separate this off with a armor room. Uh, with guns and stuff and with for the artifact weapon and then over here I would have um, equipment and stuff like the uh, um, the vendor over there but in my opinion it's it is really boring it doesn't have a really it doesn't have a lot of good colors the trophies it's just it feels like one big barn in which they stuffed everything instead of making it really cool having separate rooms like a really cool armory room where all the guns and all the bows are with all the kinds of ammo with a uh, room with all the trophies and a lot of food and drink uh, drinks in there and then um, one place for the vendor and one place for the map but now it looks at like this open space this open barn which is just randomly uh, everything is stuffed in there and it makes Kind of, it feels like lost space. It looks like a lot of wasted space, and it's not. It's not pretty. The colors are really boring. If you look here, like, oh, here's a weapon. I didn't even know till today, till I recorded that. I'm like, wow, it's even there. So it feels for me like a lot of empty space, which could have done way better, um, and to make it feel more cool, basically. Number four. At number four, we have our artifact weapon, Titan Strike. In my opinion, all of them are very, very lackluster. They're not cool at all. They're not um, great in any sense. They're not blowing me away. I think we have a very, very boring artifact weapons. Um, and here's the thing is that I don't understand why we have... Uh, Beastmaster Hunters have guns. We are um, one with nature according to Blizzard. Here's this metal gun. Go shoot stuff. I think a bow would fit us more. Uh, but... If you look at the artifact weapons we have, it's not really blowing me away. The one I like the most is the hidden one I bought for 7.6k. Another disappointment just buying it. I hope the other hidden artifact weapon will be really, really cool. Because so far, it's a disappointment for me personally. At number 3. Number 3, we have the sound. Now listen to this for a moment. It sounds like I'm hitting my target with a wet towel. It's absolutely atrocious. I'm shooting a gun, not slapping somebody with a wet towel. This really, really needs needs a fix. Number two. Number two are our talents. A lot of our talents are completely passive and just replace spells. Or uh, changed the damage output of some spells. Only Chimera Shot is one of the few things that gives you an extra button. Uh, but most of them, as you can see right here, are passive, passive, passive. It upgrades your pet. It upgrades the damage of Bestial Wrath. All things like that. You get a stun, a sleep effect, or a group stun. The only thing that can chase here is a Mother of Crows or Barrage, which could make things interesting. Volley is not a passive. Arrows will just fall from the... Sky the moment you're shooting. This is a passive. Killer Cobra is kind of a passive. And Stampede is another 3 minute cooldown. Which gives you an extra button. But overall a very boring spec. With uh, no flavor. No no choices to make. Not interesting. Number 1. At number 1 we have the animations of the Beastmaster Hunter. The animations of the Beastmaster Hunter are quite lackluster. Uh, things like Kill Command. Cobra Shot. Uh, Dire Beast don't do anything. Bestial Wrath is basically the only one who's interesting what makes up pets very big and mirror of course is kind of meh i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and i hope to see you guys on the next video thank you guys so much for watching bye bye